Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly readings for the week starting September 21st, 2015. This reading is for Leos. Thank you for being here with me and thank you for your support. And let's get started. So on Monday you have the Devil. Um, the Devil speaks of temptations. Um, you could be tempted to open a door that should remain closed, whatever that means for you. Um, this could even be moral blackmail or any kind of blackmail, emotional blackmail, that kind of situation. Um, for others of you, this could be you feeling tied to a situation, you feeling chained down to a person or a relationship that is not good for you. Um, this could also be you going against your better judgment, you going against your own advice, you not listening to your intuition and um, allowing yourself to be tempted and taken away from your path. This could be addictions that you're dealing with on Monday. Or you could be tempted to go back to an addiction. Or you could be tempted to go back to a former relationship that was toxic and was really not good for you. Okay, so be mindful about that. For those of you, you could be tempted to get ahead in not such a right way. You could be tempted to um, lie or not tell the whole truth or deceive in order to seize an opportunity that maybe is not meant for you so be mindful about that on Tuesday you have the Queen of Pentacles so this could be a person that you're dealing with on Tuesday Pentacles is Earth sign so that is Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, the Queen of Pentacles could be your mother for some of you and you're either spending time with your mother mother or seeking the counsel of your own mother um, the queen of pentacles is the ultimate mother figure she is someone who's very creative very loving uh, someone who invests in her family um, and in her home someone who can improve and um, better anything she touches really. She's also someone who is looking at the details, someone who's looking at the long-term plans and the long-term goals she has and how to make them happen. Um, she's very grounded, so she's really looking at the details and the facts and not as much wishful thinking. Um, she's very practical. She could be giving you some very practical advice on Tuesday. She could be helping you improve your finances on Tuesday. She's very wise and very um, balanced and very fair. So she will listen to everyone's opinion and take it into account before making her decision or before um, telling you her opinion. So if you're dealing with this person on Tuesday, she's either helping you improve your finances helping you grow in your career or she is simply giving you very very practical advice that you would be wise to follow. On Wednesday you have the Five of Swords. Um, in this deck the Five of Swords speaks of um, being disheartened um, due to the fact that you believe a situation is unsolvable but it is your own perception she is sitting on the doorstep thinking that that door is locked but she hasn't even tried to open it it's that kind of thing so if you're dealing with a situation on Wednesday that seems unsolvable um, that seems like a dead end the card is advising you to look again to try something you haven't tried before whatever it is just try it it will work um, the card is advising you to keep an open mind and you will receive answers and solutions. So whatever difficult situation you're dealing with on Wednesday, just remember 
It's not impossible. It's not a dead end. It's all in your perception and you need to try something new. Okay, just try something. On Thursday, you have the Queen of Wands. Not sure you can see it. So the Queen of Wands is someone who's very charming, very magnetic, has a very um, charmal, charming um, personality. She attracts the things and the people she wishes to have in her life. Um, it is a wands card, so it could be yourself. Um, alternatively, it could be another fire sign you're dealing with this day, an Aries, um, another Leo, or um, Sagittarius. Um, they're also very inspired, okay? So you could be, again, I'm here, you could be negotiating with this person, some of you. Um, others may seek the counsel of this Queen of Wands on Thursday. And she's very inspired and very creative. So whatever solution, whatever um, advice she gives you, you should follow it. You should implement it. Um, this could also be you working closely with the superior on Thursday. You working closely with the boss. It could lead to career advancements, whether you're working closely with the boss or you are receiving advice. Um, you need to take it and allow that advice to spark your own creativity. On Friday, you have the magician. So on Friday, you are using the resources you have to create something new. Um, this could be a new job or a new position that you are offered or that you start on Friday and you are using your own resources for it. The card is telling you that you have everything you need to make it a success whether this is in your work or your love relationships, you have everything you need to make it a success and you are able to balance everything and make it work for you. However, you need to um, pay attention and make sure that you're taking the right actions because you're not going to be able to do this balancing act for too long. So if you have an idea go with it, don't um, hold back, don't procrastinate, um, I'm hearing don't lie because it will catch up with you, don't um, trick people, don't manipulate people because um, it will fall apart and you'll get caught out, okay? On Saturday you have the two of chalices. And the Two of Chalices speaks of a very deep bond. Um, if this is in your love life, this is a very deep uh, bond. This is a solid partnership, um, especially if you're dealing with the water sign. Water signs are Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, this is a very deep, deep connection, an equal partnership. Um, a partnership where you give and you receive very balanced, very good, very healthy partnership. Um, if you have been dealing with issues in your partnerships, the two of chalices is also the card of reconciliation. So you and your partner are coming together, are coming back together, are coming, on, coming back on the same page. Um, alternatively, this could be a very strong friendship. You spend some time with a very close friend on Saturday.
okay but whether it is in your love relationships or your friendships um, this is a day where you focus on that relationship okay but it's a very good card to get and on Sunday you have the Knight of Wands The Knight of Wands is someone who's very impatient, someone who just wants to make things happen, someone who is always looking for change, for new things, progress. He can't stand still, he doesn't have the patience uh, to wait for anything, and so he's very, very impulsive. Um, you could be dealing with this person on Sunday. The best thing to do, I'm hearing, is get out of his way or get out of her way because they're not going to listen to reason. Um, for those of you, this could be you, just being impatient and impulsive and trying to just make things happen. And the risk of that is you're forcing things to happen and so you're not going to get what you want. So please try to stay balanced. Um, this is also the card of house moves and travel. So some of you could be traveling, some of you could be moving home, some of you could be buying a house. And you could be traveling for work or for leisure. But it is movement, not standing still, and making things happen, okay? A lot of things happening. Your general turn of the week, you have Seven of Ariel. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. Okay, so you have invested wisely. Don't be tempted to go back. Don't be tempted to doubt yourself. Have patience. Don't try to force things. Um, seek wise and practical counsel because you will receive it this week and there's nothing for you to worry about you have invested wisely you just need to take some time and allow for things to happen your general advice you have walk away leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result so if this is for those of you who have been dealing with a negative situation or a bad relationship and you're tempted to go back, the card is asking you to walk away and leave it behind for good. Nothing's changed. Don't be tempted. Um, for others of you, this could be advice to walk away from negativity, leave uh, pessimism behind. Okay, change your focus, allow yourself to be inspired, allow yourself to um, follow your intuition, look at all the new opportunities you have because you do have new opportunities in your life this week. And in your love and relationships, you have let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Okay, so if you're trying to force things in a relationship, the card is asking you to stop doing that because you will just chase that person away. Um, allow them to come to you. Allow them to meet you on common ground. Okay, don't try to charge ahead and push them in the direction you want them to go. Um, and this works if you're coupled or single as well. Allow yourself to move on from a negative situation. Okay, allow that to happen. Allow that transition to happen. Don't look back and don't try to force yourself to do anything. All right, and just have faith that everything will work out the way it's meant to work out and you will um, find happiness as long as you stand your ground, um, have some patience and keep your focus and don't settle for less. Okay, 
So that is where I see for you Leos for the week of September 21st, 2015. Um, please like, share, subscribe and comment. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. I hope you have a good week and I'll see you next week. Thank you and take care.